Hey everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek out of the field, taking a look at the FMS PA-18 Super Cub. A really nice looking airplane, flies fantastically, uh, and so it's got some nice features as well. Uh, in terms of the assembly, it really goes together pretty quickly. Uh, you start with the landing gear, those just bolt into place. Uh, they are wire, but you do have the spring attachments there. Uh, but then from there, you slide the wings on over the carbon tube. Uh, the cool thing is they've got hard mounted connectors at the root, so uh, you're able to uh, just slip the wings on. You don't have to worry about any servo connections or anything like that. Uh, and then slip the, the tails into place, pop the propeller on there, and that's more or less it. Uh, the nice thing about it is you've got uh, floats included, so if you're looking for something to fly at a lake or something like that, uh, you've got the floats there, uh, and so it'd be fun to do some lake flying. I actually haven't done that. Uh, before, so it'd be really fun. In terms of the CG and all of that, so I'm using a 4S3200 pack, it's a Spectrum Smart pack, uh, and that's placed in uh, the battery area about one inch or so back from the uh, this cowl here, uh, and so that works really well. I like the performance of the 3200, it's a little bit quicker, but I have also flown it with the 2200, uh, and that placement is uh, Basically, the back of the pack is right in line with the cowl there, uh, and that gives the CG really well. In that case, it has a bit more vertical performance, a little less speed, but it still flies fantastically. For the CG location, now if you look at the root, there's these plastic mounts here. Uh, well, if you place your finger underneath just behind those plastic mounts, uh, that's going to give you the CG perfectly, and that feels really good right there. Uh, and that's more or less where they recommend in the manual. Uh, for the controls, I'm at my mid rates all around, uh, and that feels really good to me. Uh, and so for the aileron, I'm at 80% uh, with no expo at all. Uh, for the elevator, 80% with no expo. And then for the rudder, I'm at 100% with 20% expo there. And I'll give the control throws on the video. Uh, but also for the flaps, I want to mention that I have a 20% and a 40% down elevator mix with the flaps. So you do need that, otherwise the airplane will balloon. Uh, and so, uh, flying the airplane, it's extremely fun, surprisingly aerobatic. You know, Cubs, it's hard to go wrong with a Cub, uh, but, um, you know, it's a 1700 millimeter wingspan, rolls really well, uh, knife edges fantastically. Uh, it doesn't snap roll all that great, although you can try and do it if you want, but uh, it's also got great power. So for doing any kind of maneuvers, uh, the slow speed handling and flight is really excellent. You drop the flaps, you can do slow flight all day long. It's happy to do it. Uh, you can get really nice slow approaches. Uh, and so that really makes it really fun. You've got a really wide speed envelope to play with. Uh, but I do want to mention on the landings, I'm flying from asphalt and the tires are pretty hard. Uh, I found that if you carry just a touch of throttle into the flare, uh, it will tend to grease quite a bit better, whereas if you try and cut the throttle in the flare uh, into the touchdown, uh, it'll end up bouncing on you. So yeah, let's go give you guys a flight, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll wrap this up.
All right, guys, there we have the FMS PA-18 Super Cub. Uh, really fun airplane, looks great. Uh, it's really well made. Uh, and so, yeah, so as Cubs go, this is a really great option. Uh, you've got fantastic power, assembles really well. So, um, yeah, I'm liking it. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along on social media at the RC Geek. Subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you at the field. All right, bonus flight. Uh, I've got... 4 cell 2200. That is pushed. Basically, the back of the pack is even with uh, the cowl there. And so, in terms of flying, not much different except that the verticals are, are better, it's lighter, uh, and it slows down a little bit more. Uh, I actually think I prefer the 3200 pack in here versus the 2200 uh, just because it's a little bit faster, penetrates a little bit better. But uh, you guys can judge for yourselves. Super Cub! <laughs> oh, be nice. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> Piperific. Yeah. Have the FMS. Ugh, got bug on me. Stupid bugs. Ugh. <laughs>